in my life. Uh, out and about doing a bit of camping today. Um, we're actually in the forests uh, just on the Welsh borders. Um, I'm going to put up a, 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 a tarp at the moment to show you my, my personal favourite two pole freestanding tarp. Uh, this isn't where we're staying tonight. We're going to wander off that way and do some hammock camping later. Um, so we'll be showing you how to tie some knots, how to hang the, te how to hang the ca hammocks and how to use the tarp and the hammocks up as well. But for now I just want to show you how to uh, put together the tarp. So I've got my British Army tarp in front of me, I've got my two Van Gogh walking poles and this is just my pegs and uh, ropes, uh, cordage for, for putting it up. Normally if you buy, if you buy a tarp off uh, Amazon you're probably going to get a 3 by 3 meter one. Um, this will still work with that, with that setup. I'll just keep looking a little bit different. The British Army one isn't quite 3 meters, I think it's 2.6 by 2.1, something like that. When you're setting your tarp up, the first thing you need to do is work out which way the wind's coming. Uh, for the purposes of this exercise, the wind and the weather's coming that direction, so the opening is going to be towards you. Initially, when I put the pegs in, I'm just putting them in um, to stop the thing from moving around, and then I'll do the alterations afterwards. I just want to introduce to these as well. Fantastic little bit of kit that allows you a bit more flexibility in your setup. So I use these uh, with my bivy bag because um, I like my bivy, bivy bag pinned down. I don't want to make alterations on my bivy bag that are going to make it useless. I've seen people out there that have uh, sewn uh, loops on and they've punched holes through. These little things, they just clamp on. They give you something to fix to, and it's a, it's a semi-permanent uh, fixture. Just one peg there. I'm not going to push that all the way in just yet because I'm, I'm going to use that in a short while. Um, this corner here... I'm going to pick this one down, I'm going to pick this one down. Yes, that one goes down there. And then I've got my first pole. Right, so with my pole I'm just going to open the thicker section to its fullest and close it down. That should be about the length from the centre to the end. I'm also going to take the little nozzle off because I'm going to poke it through the hole. that. I can put that back on if I want to but I'm not going to uh, just leave that off for now. So this is my first um, opening. I just realised I actually should have swung this round. My opening is going to be more that way rather than directly towards you as it is. Uh, first little guy line. So we need I've got a lot of little bits of cord. Um, that's my main line that I'm going to use for my ridge line later on. These are just a few little bits of rope, but what I've got is just with an elastic band so I can identify them quickly and easily, these are prepared guy lines. So when I open it up, Cut to side. I've already got my little uh, friction knot there. So this, this end over here where my thumb is, is where the peg will go in. And then at the other end is a loop. As you can see, just a simple figure of eight and that is makes it nice and easy just to throw the loop over the little raised section and then just bring it up at an angle again this isn't this isn't its permanent fit, uh, position yet so I'm just going to put this in loose next peg I'm going to do is just, just along this centre line here, because that's the centre line of my tarp, and again just a loose one, push it in just to hold it in place. And I'm ready for my second hole. Same as before, just open up the thick section on the bottom, go to the stop mark, close it up, take off the bomb. Somewhere around here I've got another is. <laughs> Never a good idea to have green rope on grass, is it? Green cause on rope. So this is my second prepared one. This one is actually coming in to the loop that's about the distance of the pole along the short edge, which is here. It's hidden behind that one and this one. Again, if you're not using a British, um, a standard British uh, 
basher like this one, those little clips come in handy because you don't necessarily have these holes in the right place. If you use those clips, you can put a hole wherever you want it. I'll just get another champagne. And I'm going to go there, come down this way, and off at an angle like this. Okay, I'm going to go around and tighten all this up in a second. Okay, we're beginning to look something like now, and this is just to bring out the front to where I want it. Uh, I'm not going to tie this properly just because obviously I'm just showing you the actual setup itself. So I'm just going to put a loose knot in like that. So we're almost there. So we're around the back of the, the tarp now. And I'm going to come to this eyelet here. I'm going to pull it tight and just push that one in there. This one over here now, the one that I first put in, actually is no longer required. So what I'm going to do is pull that up, tuck it under, and then this gives me a little bit of a dry spot in here. Do you want to come down there, Jay? Yep. So I've got a little bit of a dry spot there if I want to put my shoes or just something I don't want it to be on the floor. I'll spend a bit more time now uh, just tightening everything up, making sure that the angles are correct. So this one that I put in first is definitely in the wrong place now because the tension needs to be coming this way from that far corner. So I'll come down. Put it in place, tension it up there. Same with this one and this one. You can see all I'm doing is just going around, make it nice and tight. And perfect, it's raining. You can see I've got plenty of room in here. Got plenty of room, got a nice big porch here, overhand area. Um, and for a short ass like me, I could definitely just lie down in this spot quite easily. So this is my favourite two-pole setup using the British military tile.